I'm sure most of us have enjoyed playing with baking soda and vinegar and watching the chemical reaction that takes place. But as much fun as it is, this isn't really a science investigation. <laughs> a science investigation begins when we have a question we'd like to know the answer to. We use observations and experiments to help us find the answer. So today, I'd like to take this simple home experiment one step further. I have three different types of vinegar, and I'd like to ask the question, which type of vinegar produces the biggest reaction with baking soda? To do this, I need to make sure that I have the exact same amount of baking soda each time I do the experiment. So I'm going to use a level teaspoon because that's an, a measurement that's quite easy to be accurate with. It's just as important to measure the amount of vinegar that I'm using. In this experiment, the only thing that I want to be different is the type of vinegar that I'm using. So everything else needs to be exactly the same. I have a pen ready to make a mark on the glass so that I can measure how high the bubbles go. There's no point doing a really good experiment if I can't make a really good observation. Okay, now it's time to pour the vinegar into the baking soda and observe what happens. It's fizzing quite fine and it's made it about that far up the glass, so a bit over halfway. Now it's time to try with the red wine vinegar and see if the reaction is any different. Oh, so it's gone a little bit higher than the white vinegar. And finally, I'm going to try it with the balsamic vinegar. Right, so that is clearly a much more vigorous reaction than both of our other vinegars. It's gone all the way to the top of the glass. So it seems as if balsamic vinegar gives the, the biggest reaction with baking soda out of my three vinegars. But at the moment, that's just my theory. It's my hypothesis that balsamic vinegar produces the biggest reaction with baking soda. But just because I have this idea or theory, it doesn't necessarily mean it's true. For my results to be reliable, I need to make sure that what just happened here is more than a chance event. So to make sure my results are reliable, I'm going to do the experiment again and again. I did the whole experiment two more times. Each time I was able to make more measurements and add evidence to support my hypothesis. With three trials completed for each type of vinegar, I calculated an average for each so that it was easier to make sense of all the numbers. Putting these numbers into a graph with a title and clear labels means that my results start to make a whole lot more sense. A graph gives us a really clear image of how the different types of vinegar compare. Because I did a fair test, I know that I've come up with a really good conclusion, that balsamic vinegar is the most reactive with baking soda. I know this because everything in my experiment I kept exactly the same except for changing the different type of vinegar I used. I also repeated the test three times so that I knew that my results could be trusted. So I've answered my question. Balsamic vinegar is the most reactive type of vinegar when mixed with baking soda.